folks, um, after a long time, I thought of publishing an English video because the world is moving to a very, very critical stage. One of the reasons for the current condition of the humanity is the ignorance about awakening. There are lots of people, especially in uh, Christian tradition, they call themselves as a prophet. There are lots of prophets, prophets. They have a lot of channels talking about what their prophecy. And similarly, in Hindu religion also, there are a lot of Swamiji's talking about or the awakened beings, so-called awakened beings, talking about God. I want to talk to you today. What is the true awakening? And at the end, I will say who is qualified to talk about God. So please listen carefully. First of all, there are lots of people who see some figures, uh, the religious figures like Christ, Jesus Christ, or Kartike, or Shiva, or Rama, or Krishna in their dreams, then they think that they saw God, and God came and talked to me. Many people I have seen, I have watched some videos, YouTube videos, some Christian prophets, quote-unquote prophets, saying, Holy Spirit came and talked to me yesterday, and Trump will win the second term. You know what happened. Similar things exist in Hindu religion also. Now, just an appearance of a godly figure like Jesus Christ to human form or Shiva's human form, not the real Shiva's form. Shiva, real Shiva does not have any form. But the Shiva that the Hindus have imagined, their mind has imagined, they see that and that is not awakening. That's in ignorance. Some people, even when they are awake, they see some religious figures appearing in front of them. Sometimes even the lights appearing in front of them. Immediately they think that, oh, I am an awakened being. Even though they don't see it, God has blessed me with this, uh, with this form or her form. That's not awakening. And there are lots of lots of people who perform a lot of yogas, Kriya Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Raja Yoga, and uh, I don't know what other, what other yogas are there. They perform yogas and then they, they get some kind of a siddhi. Siddhis means some kind of a, a natural um, powers and they think that they are awakened beings. That's not true awakening because in the, in the um, yogic tradition, yogic books, if you read carefully, they say clearly, this, these energies in the five or six chakras in the human body, they give you some power so that they don't, so that you don't go up, you get stuck. And clearly, the yogic book says you have to just ignore and go continue your journey. So, such powers. Is not a, such powers are not sign of a, a true awakening. And then some people open their, they feel that they have, their, their third eye is opened or sixth chakra is opened and they see very many figures, lights and so on. They think 
that I am an awakened person and then come and teach. I've, I've said that in many this in many videos that third eye is a mental chakra. It projects the desires, your, your yearnings, your longings in your mind. And also what is called Akashikaraka. They are projected in front of you as a light, as a human form, God's form, and so on. And they, they even see the uh, uh, Kartiya or Shiva or Vishnu or Rama or Krishna appeared in, in, in front of me when I'm doing meditation through my third eye and then ask me to preach his message or her message. That is not real awakening. That is just the projection of your mind in the, what they call Kundalini Shakti when you raise into the sixth chakra that, that excited energy of the mind will do all these tricks. And then there are people who, reach, who say that they have reached the stage of Samadhi. That is, they ignored everything in the third eye. They went up above and then it was all dark. And um, suddenly, the one who was seeing the darkness vanished, that the darkness is really Shiva or Parmashiva or the eternal unknown, the indescribable or undescribable one. And they say that I have reached Samadhi and all my mental tendencies have vanished and then they come and preach. That, that stage is not an awakened state. That you are still in the human mind. What you are seeing as a darkness is your own mind. Yogis, real yogis I'm talking about, they will see mind, human mind, as appearing as a dark cloud, darkness. That is not really awakening. Those folks are not qualified to talk about God, they are still within their mind. So, as long as you are within the powers of the six chakras, unless your seventh chakra is opened, even after seventh chakra is opened, I will talk about that a little, little later in this video, so unless that chakra is opened, you are not an awakened being. Even after the chakra is seventh chakra is opened, you are, you are still you are hanging on to your mind. Somehow you forced um, the seventh chakra to open, and it came down, came down because you were afraid of uh, leaving the body, and that is not real awakening. You are still in the human mind. All the desires are there. Desires to see the, 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 the form of God or reach the, you know, in various religions they say, I, um, I see again Rama or Krishna or um, Holy Spirit or uh, Jesus and so on. That's not real awakening. The real awakening is your mind, human mind, mind should be completely destroyed, at least temporarily. Only then, it's, there, is a, there is a possibility that you have been awakened, but still, you are not supposed to teach others about God. To teach about God, you have to realize you are the God. Not only that, you have to realize what is, how the world was created, 
how it is maintained, how it will be destroyed, who is the creator, God, creator, what energy is created and so on. And if you have been reading Bible, then you'll, you have a story of uh, creation, Adam and Eve and so on. Same thing, Hindus also have the creation according to their religion. What some of the folks have written in their religious books. That one, even that person cannot teach about God. The person who can talk about God is the avatar of God. And that's not easy. That doesn't happen often. Jesus Christ was not, he realized what God is. He really realized what his origin is. That's why he talked about his spirit body. He talked about uh, God in heaven. He, he said that my kingdom is not of this world. It is a different world. But folks who have been reading Bible or whatever, um, whatever written because of his teachings when he was alive, they think that the Father in Heaven is a human being, like people have here as their Father as a human being. They think that and Jesus Christ came and died for the sin of the whole, everybody. And he has gone up to prepare the mansions for people who have got, the Christians who have got faith in Christ. These people who are teaching such things are not really meant to teach. They are teaching ignorance. The book of Revelation is full of third eye or, or, the, or the mental projections of various events. They even see, they even say that Jesus Christ will come in, in the heaven and everybody will see. And there will be a trumpet, seventh, seven trumpets. Seventh trumpet will be blown and was blown. And then Jesus will come down with his angels and so on. They even say that before that happens, or at that time, he will take all the folks who have faith in Jesus Christ and Christianity and then they, they, he, Jesus Christ will take them to heaven. And then again, second time, another time, he will come down to the earth in human form and judge everybody else according to them, according to these preachers, these pastors who preach such things. Our revelations. Jews are the chosen people. It's written even in the Bible that God was saying, my people, my people, Jews are my people. I'll come back again for my people. Everybody, every human being, not only human being, everything is in the, in the world. It's God's, God's appearance in this world is a human body, not only Christians. And there are very good non-Christians who are very devoted, very kind, very, in the, uh, very, very full of love to everybody. On the other hand, there are a lot of Christians who think that unless you have Christ, unless you have faith in Christ, you will go to hell. Everybody else, every, every, everybody else except who have been converted as a Christian or born as a Christian, they are all children of Satan. 
is all wrong teachings. All these things are coming from people who have never been awakened. They are not meant to teach. Such teachings divide people. Actually, when the coming of Jesus Christ is revealed to the humanity, there will be huge shock and disbelief among Christians because they have been expecting Jesus Christ, second coming of Jesus Christ happened to be, is going to be in the tradition of the Jew. He'll be born as a Jew. And he will teach about the Bible. He will revive the Bible. In fact, Jesus Christ, if, if when he is revealed, he will ask first the Christians, did you love everybody unconditionally? Or your, your love is conditioned by the fact that whether that person is a Christian or non-Christian. Most of the Christians cannot answer that question. In fact, it is the, 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 the Christian priests are saying, pastors are saying, that most of the people who have fallen from Christianity, the real Christianity, when Jesus Christ comes. They think that they are there that that statement is referring to people who have left the ch church, Christian church. That is not right. The pastors who teach blindly preach what is written in the Bible without really being awakened and truly awakened. They are really teaching the wrong things. They will not be able to answer Jesus Christ about when he, when he asks, when he or she asks about the unconditional love. It is written, it seems, in the Bible that when he comes, there will be for a thousand years or two thousand years, a Christian, the, the, the Christian yoga will begin and will stay there, bringing everybody to Christianity. No. That's, that is a teaching from unawakened uh, people, priests. What, will hap what is going to happen is true divine love that divinity does not belong to any religion. You cannot see this unless you are awakened to this. You cannot even understand what I'm talking unless you are awakened. I have, I have talked about my spiritual experiences, published several videos in the past, and most of the people would have ignored it because they are, they, they are not in their wavelength. Because I am not, I am not looking like a Jew. Most of the Christians would have ignored. Hindus definitely would have ignored because they think that Kalki, their avatar, will be from North India. He'll be white colored. He'll come on a horse, white horse, with a sword to kill. Everybody except Hindus. All the Hindu dharmika, a Hindu way of life will be established again. Hindus really don't know what is the real Hindu way of life. They think that whatever is being preached by the unawakened are falsely thinking that they are awakened people and they are, they are thinking, they are imagining about their Kalki and the next avatar. All these things are not, they, all these people who are preaching like this, they are not awakened people. Seventh seal, seventh chakra will be opened. 
at that time. In in fact, that's what has been said in the in the Christian tradition in the Bible. Seventh chakra will be when the seventh seal open. Jesus Christ will come down. Seventh trumpet is blown. But the problem is that they don't know what is Greek Christianity. Christian, in some part of the Christian religion, they think that Jesus Christ said that I am life and that life is really the golden light, which is beyond the human body, which cannot be seen by the human senses and the mind. It's in the heaven, kingdom of heaven. But they really think that Jesus Christ is the only son. They don't know its meaning, what is meant by saying son, because they are not awakened. Folks, awakened being will not preach any religion. He, he or she is beyond all religion. God is just an energy, energy which cannot be seen through either the scientific instruments or by the human senses and the human mind. It is beyond that. For example, when you are using a mirror in, and then looking at the mirror, then you see your form. The mirror is the instrument. The form which is appearing in the mirror is the result of seeing you in the in the mirror. That the instrument you are using that mirror as the instrument to see you, and you all know that 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 appearance in the mirror is not you, because it shows a left as right, right as left. The same way. When you are using your five senses and mind, reading various books, religious books, and seeing all this human God's form, they are not really real true God's form. And such people see their themselves, they see the human body and they, are, they say that this is me. Because you know the boundary of yourself, the human body, by the touch sense. You know that when somebody hurts you, you feel bad. So the, the, that hurt is there in your mind. And something bad happened to you in the past, it is there in your mind. So do you think that your, your, all your thoughts in your mind, all the things that are there and the, that you, you see through your five senses is a real you. That's not you. These are all the instruments. The five senses plus your mind is just an instrument in the human body. Using this, you are seeing yourself as the body, human body. That's not real you. Just like the, the, the form that you see in the mirror is not you. The same way, the form that you are seeing through your five senses and mind is not you. And, uh, and the world that you are seeing through your five senses plus a mind is not you. Even when you use scientific instrument, you cannot see. Still you are seeing your five senses augmented, enriched by the scientific instrument and still you are seeing through the mind. That is, that's not the real world. That is the physical world. That's true as long as, uh, that is true with only with respect to your five senses plus your mind. And the seventh chakra is open. You'll no longer be functioning using the five senses plus your mind. And there, there is a, there is a different kind of instrument. That's a divine mind. You have to be there. 
your seventh chakra should be open to experience that and that one will and, and that one will show you or you will experience there the three lights the divine three lights white light golden light and then red light i talked about these three divine lights in very many videos if you are interested go and see them and that is that is not even the final stage that is created one every creation will one day be destroyed so those divine lights also will be gone as i have said i have talked about this when when such things will happen when all these things happen there is one will, will remain still that one is the eternal unknown eternally it exists it's it is using that some energy which is separated from it from that one creates this three divine lights and also through the, um, the, the whole world that you are witnessing right now by creating a human being using their five senses and uh, the mind so folks it is the same thing same energy divine energy which is which is appearing in front of that one eternal eye it is it's a descriptionless it's the same energy when when after the creation of the three divine lights appears as a three divine lights it is the same energy which appears to you as this world for your instrument the five senses plus your mind only an awakened truly awakened being can say this only a true awakened being what it means to say that the world created <laughs> the world created not only the kingdom of god but this kingdom of human beings humanity and it is said in the bible that world was with initially with god and world was god it is all mere words you christians are repeating they really don't know what it means that's why they are saying that bible is written by god's word that's not true partially such things are god's words are there in the bible but most of it all revelations people have seen so called awakened being they <laughs> they are not really awakened beings they vision they have some visions and written as revelations finally i would like to strongly state only a real true god savata a human human form can teach about or is qualified to teach about or knows about or is aware of aware of the kingdom of heaven and also the beyond and also how this world was created and so on everybody else statement or statements from unawake unawakened beings i would strongly suggest all those people who are really not awake and stop preaching to the people otherwise you will be dividing this world in terms of religion caste country of origin or color of your skin and bring catastrophe catastrophic events will happen because of their so such preachings it's already happening much more things will uh, yet to come so realize who is who is a real awakened person and really listen to only that person otherwise the humanity will be in big big trouble in the coming days that's what i want to talk to you today 
I'll talk to you soon. In the meantime, if you have any questions, please comment. I will respond.